Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on the jumper effect in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. First off, you got to have a tripod when you do this because you want your shot to be steady and you don't want things moving all around everywhere. So make sure you're using a tripod with this. Now, this effect takes really two shots. One shot of the individual starting to teleport and then the one shot of the individual coming back onto the scene. Make sure that you do not turn off your camcorder or, you know, video cam, DS DSLR, whatever you're using in between the shots because you want the lighting and everything to stay the same. So make sure you do it in two takes, but without turning off the camcorder. So I have my footage down in the timeline. First thing I'm going to do is move my footage forward to a position where the individual comes on the screen. And they are making a motion of the effect being made. Once I get it to a position I like, I'm going to split the clip there. And then I'm going to move it forward to a position where there's nothing else going on in the scene. You might want to, you know, drag your timeline out for this to make sure that you get everything exactly how you want it. It's up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this middle piece and I'm going to delete it. Now what you'll see is you'll see the talent make his motion like he's going to teleport or jump. And then you'll see them disappear off the screen. There you go. So that's the first part. Next. We want to give it about a few seconds, maybe, you know, three or four seconds. I'm probably going to go with four seconds of just the scene by itself. Split your clip there. So now this middle clip is just a scene with nothing going on in it. Next, you want to go ahead and find a position where the talent is doing the second part of the jump. Get to a position you like and split the clip there. And now this middle piece, I could delete it. So now what you see is the talent doing the first part, disappearing, and coming back into the scene. Then you can go ahead and delete off the back end wherever you want. Don't need that. And then I can delete the first part also wherever I like to start my progression. It's up to you on this part. And then you could delete the front part off. Now, to make the effect look totally awesome. You want to go ahead and add a little bit of flair to it. A little bit of nice flair. So what you want to do is go to the first clip. First part of the clip. Right click on it. Go to open effects editor. Make sure you're on the effects tab. Go to add-ons. And then go to red giant. And we're going to use the shine effect. Using the shine effect is going to add some shine and we're going to make it look like the individual actually pops off the screen because when you bring the shine up to its highest, it actually makes the screen jump forward a little bit to help enhance the look of the jump. So we're going to use a preset HD Shimmer Aura. And keyframes are already enabled on here, so the first keyframe and the last keyframe are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Controls. We're going to open up Shimmer, Colorize, everything. We're going to open it all up. We want to go ahead and put our point source X where we need it to be and source Y. So usually you can just drag these around the way you want them to be. But I already know where the settings are because I've done the effect, of course. 
So I'm just going to put it where I want them. I'm going to change the ray length to zero because the first and the last, the first keyframe we wanted at zero. I'm going to change the shimmer amount to zero, boost light zero. I'm going to change the colorize to none. I'm going to go down to shine opacity and we're going to change that to 80.89. Shine opacity really doesn't matter right now because there's no light really coming from it. But I'm putting it at that number because that's the number I'm going to want it for each keyframe that I select. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this forward to a position where I like the talent's motion and where I want to go ahead and start the effect coming from. Now you'll see it's starting to switch over to the other keyframe, which is the last keyframe, which is what it's supposed to do. So what we want to do is make sure that we make it stop at a particular position at zero still because we don't want anything happening up to this point. We want it to stay the same. So I'm gonna get it to a position that I like how everything looks and I'm gonna copy this keyframe. So I'm gonna right click on it, do copy keyframe. I'm gonna move this back to where I had it. Of course, once again, I know where I want it already. You're gonna to have to select where you want it on your own. I'm gonna right click here I'm gonna paste a keyframe there. So now what I just did is I made it where nothing's happening between here and here. Because that's how you use keyframes. You have to make something stay in a position or move to a different position. So now that I have it where I want it, I'm gonna to move to the next position I want. I'm gonna add a keyframe here. And I'm gonna make the adjustments Again, so the source point X and source point Y have moved. I want to move them back to where I had them before. My ray length, I'm going to do that at 0 0.5 because I want it to start going up slowly and then it's going to jump up at the end. Shimmer amount, I'm going to go with 31 points. That's good enough. Let's see, boost lights. Remove that. Make sure that colorize is still on none. And my source opacity, I'm gonna move that back to 80.89. So now I got this keyframe from zero to zero to the jump up here. And then on the last keyframe, I'm gonna really make it jump out. Once again, gotta change this to colorize to none. Got to make sure my source points are correct. I'm going to change my ray length on this one to 2.19. Make it jump up from the last one. Shimmer amount, we'll keep that at 100. Boost light, get that 1.5. And my shine opacity again is 80.89. So now once I'm done, you're just going to see it start off and slowly. Then I'm going to hit that keyframe. It's going to add some light and more light and a big boost at the end. Can't see it right now, but you've seen the finished product and you'll see it again in the end. Right now, because that's the end of the clip, it doesn't really show it very well. But after this renders, you get a chance to see it. So now we want to go to the section where the individual comes back onto the screen. So you want to right click on that, open effects editor, make sure you're on the effects tab, go to add ons, red giant, and shine. Now we're going to use the same effect, of course. So we're going to go to HD Shimmer Aura. Now this time we want it to start off high and have the shine come down. So we're going to open up all of our selections here. And so once again, you can move this to get your source point right in the middle, but I know where I would need mine to be already.
So we're going to start off at our array length at 2.19. Shimmer amount, we're going to leave that 100. Boost light, we're going to go to 1.5. And we're going to, of course, change our colorize to none. And our shine opacity to 80.89. So we're good there. So now we need to do our next keyframe. So we're going to move it forward to a position where we feel we want it to start coming down. We're going to add a keyframe here. And now we're just going to make sure that our source point X and Y are at the correct position again. We're going to move our ray light down to 0.5. Shimmer amount down from 100 to 31.46 or 31.5. Boost light, moving that down to 0 0.2. So, and the shine opacity, once again, stays the same the whole time. It's 80.89. Then we want to move it forward to another position where we want everything at zero. So we add another keyframe here. And we keep the source point and everything where they were for X and Y because once again you just gotta keep it there it makes it look clean move everything else down to zero ray length zero shimmer amount zero boost light zero and we can keep our shine opacity at 80.89 and then we go to the last keyframe if we don't change that last keyframe zeros it's not gonna look right it's going to change the color on you again. So we got to make our changes here. Keep the X and Y source where it's supposed to be. Change everything to zero. Colorize to none. And hit OK. And that's it. How to make the jumper effect in Avid Studio.